Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We are still going to be cleaning, but we are actually outside of our house today. So if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen some of our vlogs, you know that our deck is always pretty much a hot mess. There's just, we've never really done much to it. It's just kind of hodgepodge, different things here and there. Doesn't really make sense. And it just kind of accumulates a lot of garbage back here for some reason so we are going to be tackling outside I'm going to be completely deep cleaning the deck and a few other areas like our windows we have an area down here that's kind of like an unofficial sandbox that just is a mess as well so we're going to really focus on outside and just making our outdoor space really inviting and a place that we want to enjoy this summer so I figured I would take you guys along with us plus we got a few things on sale recently and we are going to create kind of like an outdoors oasis space but on a budget not buying like the two thousand dollar furniture that you always see when you go to like sam's club and places like that we are going to be doing this on a much smaller budget and also trying to reuse anything that i already had at home so let's go ahead and get on into this I was worried you blow my reputation. But the figure is not on me, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you make it me shiver, your yeah. hands on myself, I keep pulling the trigger, all right. This very finger for people like them, oh, no, no. But darling, oh, my, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown, whirling high up in the sky. Kyle's getting the pressure washer already and Emma is patiently waiting behind him <laughs> for the water. Are you ready? She saw you got the hose out and she like ran and just <laughs> sat there. She is obsessed with water. Huh, Emma? <laughs> Are you excited? Do you think you're gonna tackle the water? Oh yeah, she can't get it out of there, huh? That'll hurt her. Well, I'll, I won't run the pump, but I oh, a little bit. Just like regular? Yeah. So once we got everything cleared off of the deck, we just started pressure washing it. And when I say we, I do mean Kyle. He pretty much took care of most all of the pressure washing. But we first just started out by spraying everything off with just plain water. And then later on, he'll actually take something called a soap cannon and spray a bunch of soap onto the deck. And that was just the easiest way to apply all the soap to the deck and that way we could go ahead and scrub it. Now this is definitely not a necessary step. You could totally do this with just a bucket of soap and some water. He happened to have all these things on hand already just from washing the cars and doing different projects around the house. So we just took advantage advantage of that but we actually had to go over this twice it was just so caked on I feel like it looks a lot cleaner than it really was but this deck I'm sure has never been washed before we have not washed it since moving in about two years ago and like I've mentioned in the past our house was actually a foreclosure when we bought it and so there were a lot of things that were just really neglected about this house and the deck has definitely been one of them so getting everything really nice and clean has just made the biggest difference but I lay on my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown, world and high up in the sky. Oh, it's the way you make me feel so good, feel so good right now. It's the way you make me feel so good.
found a worm? Yep. Oh my goodness, is it alive? Yep, I see. Oh, it's moving. We need to find him some shade. Now before we get too far into this video, I do want to mention the giveaway that I will be doing in today's video. And I've mentioned this over on the community tab and also over on Instagram, but every single video for the next month or so, I am going to include a giveaway in. Now it's going to be a quicker giveaway than normal. It's not going to last weeks or anything. It's only going to last 12 hours. This is a subscriber giveaway, so of course you have to be a subscriber to enter. And then all you have to do is just comment on this video within the first 12 hours of it being live. And then I will pick one of the comments at random and send you the prize. Now today's prize is going to be a $25 gift card or PayPal cash, whatever you would like, but go ahead and comment down below letting me know which store you would like your gift card to, or if you would just take the PayPal cash, whatever you would like is perfect. And this is just something that I thought would be really fun as a fun way to give back to you guys and just let you guys know how incredibly thankful I am for you. <laughs> I just got done um, pressure washing the stairs and this little pad down here as you can see like the dirt's kind of overflowed and it was a lot dirtier like i'm not sure if i'll have to change my shirt but there's like a lot of dirt spackles there's a lot on my boot it was like kind of a success but it didn't go as smoothly as i hoped So now that the deck has had a few minutes to dry off, we are now starting to bring the furniture onto the deck. And the first thing that we're starting with is actually a rug. A rug is something that I feel a lot of people might not think about when they're doing an outdoor space, but it will make such a big difference. I feel like a rug really kind of grounds the space and it makes it feel like a whole nother living area. Now you can go to lots of different stores and find indoor and outdoor rugs. However, they can be really, really expensive. I've seen rugs for $400 or more, but the rug that we got was under $100. I think it was around $69 at Sam's Club. And I know that if you look for sales, you can even find them cheaper, but we were really happy with the price in this rug and they also had so many different designs so no matter what your style is you can definitely check them out or different online stores and I bet that you can find one for a really good deal. The next thing that we started putting up is our umbrella. This is something that we actually spent a little bit more money on. We did wait until it went on sale but I feel like the umbrella is something that we just did not want to skimp out on. We really wanted this certain style that's kind of offset that we could tilt to the side just because we don't have a covered patio or anything. And so if it is really hot outside, no matter how welcoming and how inviting the space is, if there's no shade, none of us are going to go hang out there constantly. We had looked into the different pergolas and things like that, but those were just so expensive. Those were around $1,000 on the low end I found, and we were just not able to spend that much money at this time. So the umbrella worked out perfectly for us. gonna be so nice and I feel like if we put like a fern or like you know some different things like that over in here that'll be so nice yeah it'll just kind of fill that space oh, up ah, I'm excited And I'm not sure if I can find everything online, but I will do my best to link as much as I can over on my Like to Know It account. If you are not already following me over there, I do always have a link down in the description box for you guys, but you can also just download the app and then search This Crazy Life and follow me that way. And that's just where I link a lot of my favorite items and a lot of items that you always see in my home.
Do you like them, Noah? Yeah. You yeah. like the new chairs? They just go on. I am dead. Mom, mom. Do touch these. Well, that's nice. Good job, bud. Okay, All right, so we finally finished putting together the table and the chairs and the umbrella. Honestly, the chairs took way, way longer than I was really anticipating, so it's like kind of later in the day, but we love how everything looks now. We are pretty much done, I think, with most of the furniture, and we're just pretty much going to start decorating the space. So I'll turn you guys around and show you that we love it. All right, so here is the rug. This is an indoor outdoor rug. And then this is an up close of the table. The chairs are really nice because they have a bit of like give to them so you can kind of lean back in them. And then this is stone and then the rest of this is metal and we wanted something really, really durable. I feel like this is kind of a good setup for that. And up in here, it actually has a little solar panel on top. It has some solar lights or it has little lights in there. So you just click a button and then at night, it's kind of lit up so I just love this space I think it is so so incredibly useful and I feel like we'll just be out here so much more like even when Kyle and I were putting together the chairs and the table we were all like it just was not even very hot so that is all thanks to the umbrella but now that we are all done with this we are going to start grabbing all of the decor that either I had or we got and start setting it up and making it look really really cozy Okay, so when I was pressure washing like the little landing down there, we had ever already set things out that I was using to decorate. So if you can see, it's just covered in bits of mud from the pressure washer. So I need to take these inside now and <laughs> wash them off. So I really wanted to do a few things in the space just to make it feel really cozy and inviting and so I wanted to add a few decor pieces but I also wanted to keep it really really simple and I also did not want to spend a ton of money out here. So a few of these items are things that I already had and then a few of them I got from Target and most of the things I actually got from Walmart. I feel like they have just changed things up the last few years and they just have such cute things now and on such a good budget. Like this tree was under $10 and I love that it's so versatile and it's also going to be really durable because it is made of metal. You take my life for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never Okay, I got these gorgeous ferns from Walmart. One of you guys had told me, I think it was maybe over on the vlog channel though, that you guys only get your plants like live plants from walmart and your theory is if they can survive at walmart they can survive at your house and i was like that's pretty brilliant anyway i grabbed these ferns from walmart i want to say they were just over 20 dollars, like maybe 22 bucks each but look they are so huge these are actually hanging ones so i'm probably obviously not i don't have anywhere to hang them so they're just gonna go in a pot but i love ferns because one they're so pretty two they just take up so much space so you kind of get like a lot of plant for not a ton of money.
So here's the before of our deck space. As you can see, it was just such a mess. Everything was kind of mismatched. There was not really a rhyme or reason to anything up here. And then this is the after, and I just love how everything came together. I really love how we actually offset the rug. We did not keep it really square to the deck. We kind of pulled it kitty corner, and it just made the space feel more inviting and just really casual. And it also fit perfectly with the umbrella being in the corner. I just love this space. We have eaten out here, I think, every single night since we created this space. It's just so amazing what having some really nice shade outside and having a really inviting space can do. And I feel like now it is is just an extension of our house at this point and I love it so so much if you guys have any questions about where anything was from of course go ahead and comment down below and like I said I will try to link everything over my like to know it page so definitely check that out if there's anything that you're kind of eyeing from this makeover All right, so it's the next day and I'm gonna show you what we're about to tackle. We moved into our house and it was a foreclosure and I feel like just so much of the house was not really taken care of and they did flip it, but there were so many things that just were not tackled. And as most of you guys know, when we moved in, our basement was not finished. And so for that reason, like the windows in the basement were not really touched. They are just like covered in, I don't know if it's just like calcium or what it is, but we have tried to clean them off ourselves and it's not worked until we got the CLR products. And Kyle recently did this on a few of our windows and now we're just gonna finish up a few other ones that we didn't get to do the other day. Kyle is just using the CLR furniture spray. I know that kind of sounds weird to use furniture spray, but we tried it out and it worked so, so well. And then what he does is he just kind of thoroughly sprays the window, lets it sit for maybe about a minute or so. And then he just uses this razor. I believe he got this from Ace Hardware and it just works so, so well to scrape all the buildup off of the windows. We were totally thinking that we were going to have to pay someone to acid wash these windows or Kyle was worried we might even have to get whole new windows because he has tried so many things to get this stuff off and nothing up until this point had worked. So it's amazing that not only this worked, but it worked really pretty easy. And obviously another project that we're going to have to do is repainting the inside of the window wells because gross they look so disgusting and now that the boys can actually see out of their windows into the window wells we just don't want them looking that gross so that'll be a project but just not for today All right, so I'm going to take over this last window. Kyle did all the other ones, so I'm gonna take over in the last bit just so I can say I helped him with this project. <laughs> this has just been something on our list, so it feels so good to be getting it all done, like just finishing up all the windows. So we're gonna finish up this and then probably move on to the shed. So before we moved into the shed, I actually had just walked past our barbecue grill 
and I noticed how disgusting it looked. I feel like I didn't really notice how dirty it was until we had our nice deck area all set up. And then all of a sudden it just stood out like a sore thumb and I just realized I really need to tackle this. So I am using the CLR stainless steel cleaner. I wasn't really sure if this would work out here or not, but I felt like it was my best bet. And so I tried it out and it worked really, really well. It doesn't look completely like new just because we've had this for a long time and it sat out in the rain. We are really, really terrible about putting the cover on it. But given the condition that it was in, I feel like this just worked so well and I'm super, super happy with it. It definitely does not stand out as such a sore thumb anymore. Okay, so this is our shed, no judgment please. This has been one of those things that's been on our list to get done for so long and it's just kind of fallen to the wayside because we had other projects we had to do and it's just been so easy to go ahead and just toss one more thing in the shed and just kind of close the doors and not think about it but it was definitely time to go ahead and tackle this project. You probably remember me sharing the video where Kyle and I cleaned out our garage. It was such a disaster and it looked so much better in the end. So that was what we wanted to do first. And then once we got that done, we were free to do the shed. And it really honestly didn't even take that long. It maybe took us like an hour, hour and a half. And we were both like, why did we wait so long to do this? I wish that we had done this months ago, but who cares? It's done now and it feels so, so good. All of this is what we are getting rid of right now. So we have the old bed frame that we had up in our guest room slash playroom before. That was like Kyle's drywall lift that he used for the basement. We're not gonna use that again, so we're getting rid of that. These are the two other mattresses that went on this bed. And then we also have two extra fans that we're just not going to use anymore. I don't know if Kyle's getting rid of this letter or if he just put it here, but maybe he's getting rid of it, I'm not sure. And then this right here actually is one of the shelves that we're gonna put in there. And then we also have these two beds. This was Noah's bed before. These are really cool, they're from Ikea and you're able to pull them apart and have two beds like that or you stack them and just put one bed on top. But they're just a twin bed and we really love these. Like when we had visitors, we would actually pull like their cousins or something, we would just pull the beds down and let them each have a bed. So when we were starting the project of tackling the shed, the first thing we did was pull every single thing out of the shed as you saw. And then once everything was pulled out, that's when we decided if we were keeping the item, if we were donating the item, if we were selling the item. And then before we brought anything back into the shed, we put together these old shelves that we've actually had since we were married pretty early on. We got them when we were living in Georgia and they had just never gotten put together ever since moving into this house. And so we re-put them together and now it just really, really makes the space so much more functional because we were actually able to use that vertical space and not just feel like we have to pile everything on top of each other.
All right, so we are gonna make a quick little craft with the kids. This is nothing really new. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this as kids or may have already done this with your kids, but I just figured it would be a fun reminder. If you haven't done this with your kids or you haven't done them in a long time, they're super easy and they're like almost free. Put peanut butter on the outside of your pine cones and then roll them in the peanut in the bird seed and then you can use some like twine or whatever kind of string you have and just hang them on your trees and you can make a ton of these and they're just really really fun next time we go camping we'll grab like some of the really big like meaty pine cones that you can find in the forest but for now we're just gonna use what we have around the house So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you so much motivation and inspiration to deep clean and declutter any spaces that you have to tackle. And I also hope it gave you tons of ideas on ways that you can decorate your own outdoor space while staying on a budget. Do not forget to comment down below and make sure that you get entered into that giveaway. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.